these look a lot nicer, a lot See, unlike the fake stuff. Pretty, so pretty. And um, this is frozen. It's that last video I did about synthetic hair. Hey y'all, it is a busy week in the Tunnel Spencer household. Ah, this is graduation week. So Mariam is graduating from college this week. It looks kind of dark from here. It's not, it's actually bright. It's just the angle. So let me go this way. Yeah, I got some cleaning here and there to do. I've done majority of the cleaning this week already. Me and Kareem or Kareem and I. I got a new table that was delivered a couple of days ago very quickly by Her Nest. You guys um, remember I've worked with this company before. And then over here I have a package that got delivered, DHL. I wasn't expecting it already. Um, this is from a hair company, so this is hair. So I'm sure you guys recall recently I did a video uh, discussing how toxic synthetic hair is. And many of you had so many questions about, okay, what now? What are we supposed to do? You said relaxers are bad. Now you're saying synthetic hair is bad. I'm telling you, it's really toxic. And black women have been, you know, um, suffering without realizing it. Um, and I don't even want to talk about it now, but I'll talk about it in another video for those who want uh, to discuss whether apple cider vinegar rinsing rinses on synthetic hair, you know, is a solution and you wanted different options, yada, yada. We'll have another video about that. But anyway, look out for a video where I install this hair. So that is definitely coming. I don't know if I'm going to do it for graduation. I'm not sure. We'll see. Um, I'm about to make some pancakes. I have my pan set up. This is a big pan. This is like my largest pan set up to make some pancakes. This has been my new guilty pleasure. <laughs> and what's cool or interesting is it's gluten-free, but the texture comes out like a regular pancake because what I figured out I could do is I take gluten-free flour, add some milk, add some eggs, add a little oil, and then I mix it with golden cake mix. And this is gluten-free cake mix. So they have gluten-free um, pancake mix, but you don't get that much and it actually ends up being a lot more expensive. So I realized that the ingredients are actually the same as the gluten-free cake mix. You know, it's just packaging. This is America. It's all about marketing and packaging. <laughs> They'll tell you all kinds of things. Anyway, so we have some gluten-free pancake mix that I'm going to make right now. And then I'm going to have to wash my hair. Um, Mariam comes home tomorrow. I even scrubbed this stove yesterday with Kareem. Um, I don't know, you know, even though it's just my daughter and she has lived with us for so many years, whenever we have a special occasion like graduation, I just feel like the house has to be clean. Um, also, Uncle Bashir will be coming, of course, Nana. So yeah, excited. I prefer using this pan because it's so large and I don't have to, you know, I can make the pancakes in one large batch versus using a small frying pan, which I often do. When it's just for me, I use a small frying pan, but I want to make some for Kenton and also for Kareem. Ah, you're risking it, adding more. Probably should have made three pancakes in here instead of four. Yeah, I should have done three pancakes instead of four because these are now touching. Girl. See, that's what happens when you're not patient. Alright, this one's good. This one's really pretty. But that one, I don't know why. Well, I know why, but because I wasn't patient. Let's cut this. Let's cut that into yum yum. And then I got some maple syrup. 
So instead of regular pancake syrup that's got all of these artificial ingredients, um, I had Ketten get me some maple, maple syrup. So see, with maple syrup, once it's opened, it has to be in the refrigerator. So that's how you know it's natural, because unlike the fake stuff, which you can keep out in the pantry, with pure maple syrup, it has to be refrigerator. This is the dark, um, robust taste, it says. And it actually is quite nice, quite delicious. I mean, really, could you tell these were gluten-free pancakes? Could you tell these were gluten-free pancakes? No, you couldn't. These just look like regular, fluffy pancakes. Okay, hopefully we don't mess up this batch. <laughs> this time I'll only do three. And I like like the smaller sizes. I don't like them too big. And they don't have to be perfectly circular. Not really. All right, these look a lot nicer, a lot prettier. You gotta wait till they get all the bubbles then you know you can flip them. Cause, yep, you see, perfect. See, unlike the fake stuff, maple syrup is not as thick as the um, fake <laughs> pancake syrup. So for example, this is Miss, Mrs. Butterworth's original syrup. You see it's darker and it's thicker. Kenton's been using this, by the way. Um, the problem with this that I'm trying to get him away from is that this has high fructose corn syrup which as you know or should know causes fatty liver and really bad central obesity and other a host of other problems so on top of a ton of preservatives whereas the maple syrup pure maple syrup doesn't mmm so good. You shouldn't eat this stuff too frequently though, I must say. If you don't want to get fat, don't eat stuff like this frequently. <laughs> uh. mm. I just realized that last video I did about synthetic hair, I didn't put the links in. So, um, well links as in suggestions for alternatives. I said I would put some direct links. So, let's go to YouTube, find my video, and put the links to the different businesses, or the alternative business. So this is what my screen looks like, and I'm talking about this video. Y'all wanted the, um, Why do they continue to make these products? let's go to edit. And then I will add the link right here. Put it above my email, okay? So go check if you want um, the links to the specific hair companies that have natural alternatives or human hair alternatives. So I wanted to take a closer look at this table, which I mentioned earlier was gifted to me from Her Nest. Look at this Japandi rectangular dining table. Do I need another table? Not really, but you'll see what I'm going to do with it. We're going to have a little bit of fun. <laughs> So yeah, I like the texture. I like the clean lines. I like that modern feel it's giving. It's pretty solid and it was shipped literally in days, less than a week. So yeah, if you go on their website, you'll see they're having a Mother's Day sale. You can get anything from coffee tables, TV stands, makeup vanities, dressers, sofas, nightstands, dining tables, whatever. They got it. And again, they shipped super fast if you like that contemporary or modern feel. See, they had these chairs and I got them in blue, you recall, and I have them around the rock table. Definitely use my code Kenton, K-E-N-T-O-N for 15% off everything. And you might not be interested in this particular table. That's quite all right. <laughs> you might find something else. Anyway, what do you think? Do you think these big blue chairs go with this table? 
Um, I don't think so, but it's kind of fun to find out, right? These chairs, I think, are a little too wide for this table, and it's totally a different style, don't you think? But again, it's kind of fun to see the two paired together. So let's see what we can do, Habiba. Let's see if we switch up the chairs. So I'm going to use these um, ghost chairs, which some people love, some people hate. I've had them for a while. I kind of like how they highlight the table or they allow the table to shine. And I'm going to add these orchids along the length of the table. It kind of gives it a very clean, modern look. Almost something you would find in a uh, guy's apartment. I don't know why I feel like it feels very masculine to me. You know, I'm super girly and I also am a bit of a, what is the word? Uh, opposite of minimalist. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not a minimalist, so this to me is a very minimalist look. Um, I like a lot of stuff and color. This is very zen, very clean, definitely very minimal, right? What do you think? Do you like the chairs with it? Let's switch the chairs up. Give it a completely different look. These are pretty traditional American chairs that I've had for a couple of years. Let's see how this looks. I'm actually really surprised that this table holds these larger traditional chairs. Very impressed. So I guess those blue chairs were just kind of really fat. <laughs> They're almost like armchairs, really. So what do you think? Do you like the ghost chairs better with this table? The blue chairs or these traditional chairs? What do you think? I think they all work. Really, they all work. Let's go ahead and add a few flowers and uh, maybe a quick table setting. Before I show you the table setting, let's flash back to how I received the table. It came in this flat box. So for those of you curious, this is how it comes and then you have to assemble it. So of course I have my man, my man, my man to set it up for me. <laughs> him trying to be a hand model there. It came with instructions. It came with all the little tools you need. And uh, yeah, they set it up. Kareem and Kenton set it up in no time. Because of the weight, it probably would be better with two people because you do have to do a little bit of lifting. Um, but yeah, it didn't seem like it was that difficult from what I could see. <laughs> it's one of the legs. Very heavy. Mm -hmm. it's gonna be heavy. So I wanted you to get a closer look at the pedestal which Kareem is attaching to the tabletop. I also wanted you to see that it is a smaller table. Although it's quite a long table, it's smaller than my traditional family um, dining table. So it would be great if you have a small dining room or you just need an additional table. Back to the present, I've set the right. table. Let's put some flowers on. So I just did a very simple table setting, very basic table setting, in my opinion. And what do you think? I set the table for four. I didn't set it for six. I just got these roses. They're so pretty, so pretty, fresh roses. I put them in a vase of ice water. I don't know, I feel like that keeps them a little longer. And um, of course they have the floral food in there. I took away the two end chairs and I think that looks actually a lot more balanced for this particular table. What do you think? I mean, especially if you are only seating four and not six you get to kind of appreciate the table a little bit more. Apparently, if you're moving or you want to move the table, it's not too hard to dismantle it. So we're dismantling it because I want to show you the other real purpose for getting this table. What are you doing, Boo? I'm dismantling it. <laughs> Uh, 
and this is what the frame looks like underneath interesting right interesting so the weight is mostly the base so this is where that table landed it landed as Kareem's desk yes that same dining table is actually great as a desk Kareem's table he's fairly tall and Kareem's table was really small um, in comparison to his frame and to all the things that he needs as an illustrator and animator you know and so I thought this would be perfect for him as a desk so I encourage you to look at things differently just because something is advertised as one thing you might look at it and think ah I could use it for something else anyway he's showing off his uh, globe remember that globe if you've been following us for a while you know Uncle Bashir gave him that floating globe it's really cool really really cool I think you can find it on Amazon Yay! I got this package from Amazon. Something I really wanted also. Can you guess what it is? Can you guess what it is? Hint number one, she looks a hot mess. We're gonna need to do something with my hair, but we need a tool to help me. <laughs> For those of us that braid our own hair or like this picture is showing, shave our own hair. <laughs> So for the guys out there, this would be a good gift for Father's Day now that I think about it or a good gift for Mother's Day because let me show you. See, you could be braiding your hair or you could be straightening your hair, whatever. 360 degree view, high definition glass, height is adjustable. This is something you put on the back of your door and then you can see the back of your head. <laughs> We're doing real life, rough and tough. That's the back. And this is actually on my Amazon storefront. This is definitely a must have if you braid your own hair or cut your own hair. And I've linked it in the description box. Okay, so this is the part that hangs on the door. I guess this should be able to pull up. Yep, telescopically pulls up. So you get the gist, right? Two mirror, three mirror. So it has three panels. One, two, three. And they bend. And again, hangs on the door and then you'll be able to see the back of your head. Okay, let's get our hair done. Let's get our hair done. Flashback to I'm a couple sorry. of weeks ago, Kenton and I are at the mall trying to find a dress that's appropriate for graduation for Mariam. Isn't this one beautiful? Love the detail. So yeah, then I decided to take a video and send her video and pictures. She's rather reserved and she doesn't like bright colors. So I'm not sure if she'll like these, but let's see. Father really likes this dress. I do too. You would have seen the gold version, kind of champagne color. So I know you want a shorter dress. Um, and it is shorter. It's just a very asymmetrical which is cool and it looks formal so you can even go this color or green or the champagne color anyway it turns out Miriam didn't like the choices that I sent so we decided to wait till she gets home to buy a dress while she was here also I was aware that she has lost some weight and uh, I wanted to make sure we had the right size Missy's home, Missy's home, Missy's Happy to have Mariam home, snooping around her stuff. I probably shouldn't. Look at this cute little steam iron. Twizzlers? Hmm. Anyway, what's for dinner? What are we cooking? Well, while I was supposed to be washing my hair, but instead procrastinating, I decided to cook some steak. And then I realized I didn't have enough steak, so I added chicken to it. <laughs> So it's a medley of chicken and steak in the same pot. 
Oh, I didn't expect it to be done so quick. Let's turn on the light. Kareem is back helping me. Everything else is done, but of course we gotta have veggies. I gave Kareem a haircut yesterday, or actually more of a trim. I think I did pretty good. It looks nice and sharp and clean, if I say so myself. And I did his father. <laughs> now I still have to do my head. We got the broccoli, but I'm always looking for an excuse to add more vegetables, so. I love just adding spinach last minute. Plus I like the way it looks and I like the flavor it gives. So this is frozen washed spinach. Yeah, Mariam looks so little, little, little. She's uh, lost even more weight, so I'm happy for her to graduate. Be done with college. I guess as a senior, I had so much work to do, so. She wasn't eating much before, and I think, yeah, this last month or two, she hasn't been eating as much either. So, we gonna feed her. <laughs> Get her nice and plump. <laughs> Even though Nana thinks she looks perfect, but I think she's a little on the skinny, skinny. You know, just shy of 100 pounds, that's, that's, that's too small. All right, this will simmer for just another few minutes and then it'll be done. Kareem's unpacking Mariam's stuff for her and look how adorable this little rice cooker is. I forgot how tiny and cute this is. This is so cute. Um, I think I've shown you we have a um, egg cooker, which Kenton uses on a daily basis, a little egg cooker from the same brand. And then this is the little rice cooker in this mint green. And um, I believe I also have linked this in our Amazon store. Comes in different colors. So cute for a student or for a single person. Isn't that adorable? Has a little measuring cup, a little lid, and you just simply plug it in and pop, and it cooks. By the way, this handheld fan came in real clutch for her graduation. So Mariam was able to hold this uh, with her because it was really, really hot on graduation day. Anyway, here we are at the mall, and I think this is Macy's maybe, um, but we also ended up going to Nordstrom, trying to find a dress. This is literally the day before graduation, trying to find something uh, comfortable for her to wear uh, for the next day. And here we are in the dressing room. <laughs> oh, it's the dresses. I think if we did it, we would go a size up because I got a little... Were there other sizes? Daddy picked this. Mm -hmm. It's, it's interesting. interesting. It's okay, right. I don't know if I'm in love with it. It's all right. It fits you So now. what do you think of the yellow dress, which fits like a glove? It's a size two, I think. And then this one is giving school uniform. <laughs> it's giving school uniform. Mm-mm wasn't feeling it she didn't like it too thankfully and um, it's a little bit too big I think it was a size six too big for her at this point but yeah if you went to school in Nigeria doesn't this green remind you of like boarding schools in Nigeria yeah <laughs> I just think it just wasn't doing enough for graduation it was just blah I could wear this on any given day it wasn't special but it was expensive. And then there was this one with the high neck. She didn't like it because it was too colorful. It was also kind of big. It was swimming on her, right? She's gone from what was a size 7, 8 to a size 4, 2. This one was really cute. I think this one's kind of cute. I like the puff sleeves. It was a little tight in the back. Um, but it wasn't bad. But again, it just wasn't doing much, you know. I know she's kind of reserved. Uh, what do you think about this yellow and white one? I want to 
probably more my colors. She didn't like it. Doesn't it make her look like she's 10 or 15? Keep in mind, she is 21. She's 21. Then I thought we would try this one. It was different. I liked the little pleats. I just thought, you know, it just looked different, clean. Something you might wear on Wakanda. <laughs> but um, she wasn't feeling it. It felt like a white coat to her. Stylish. I hate those. I hate those. If I were to just do a white shirt, I'd just wear pants and heels. Mm -hmm. This just looks like a fucking science major. No. So this is one of the dresses Mariam picked. It's giving Chanel vibes, kind of, but not quite. <laughs> And even though it looked different on the hanger, as soon as she put it on, we both knew that it wasn't the one. <laughs> so for starters, my hair would be down. So let's see. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's giving... It's like I stepped out of a period movie. Period piece movie. I don't know. I mean, it makes you look like you're 10 or you're like you're wearing a school uniform. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you'll just have to come back to find what she decided to wear for graduation. And also, don't forget to check out Her Nest. The link is in the description box. Use the code Kenton for a significant discount. And yeah, check them out. They might have something that you need in a hurry. So contemporary or modern furniture delivered right to you. Anyway, happy Mother's Day if you're watching this on Mother's Day. I will have another vlog on Mother's Day with Mariam's graduation. So come back so you can see all the details, all the fun, all the food, all the people, all the sunshine. Come back and we'll share Mariam's graduation day with you. So again, I appreciate every one of you for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up. And thank you so much. Bye. See you soon.